Hey, I'm Bill Marion on the imaginary line between Virginia and West Virginia, also known as Shenandoah Mountain. And this is a Nose for Life. So on the first part of this video, I'm gonna talk about Reddish Knob, which is on the other end of this ridge line here on the Shenandoah Mountain. And then I'm gonna come back and show you this amazing trail slash old road bed that you're gonna absolutely love. A storm's a brewing. Guys, braver than I am, man, on this road, I'm telling you, it's one of those old country roads where people drive crazy. You know, the drive up here so far from Harrisonburg has been, well, a shock. I'm only 25, 30 minutes away from my house and didn't even know this was here. It's windy and it looks like there may be a storm brewing in, but I'm gonna tell you something, it's already absolutely beautiful up here. And again, this was right out my back door. So we were in West Virginia for like a second because Reddish Knob is on the line between Virginia and West Virginia. And so for a couple of seconds, we were like in West Virginia and now we're back in Virginia according to the GPS. I got the little welcome to Virginia thing on the, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. This road is like really, really curvy and, and narrow. It's kind of scary. If Carolyn was with me right now, she'd be freaking out. This road reminds me a lot of Spruce Knobs Road. You know, when you're heading up to Spruce Knob over in West Virginia, it reminds me a lot of that road. Very narrow. Spruce Knobs kept up better, even though they don't do as much road maintenance. It invokes the same kind of feeling, and you're looking at almost the same elevation. I think Spruce Knob is at 4,800 feet, and Reddish Knob is at 4,300 feet. Pretty impressive. <laughs> The view behind me here is just absolutely gorgeous off this look off. I'm not sure if my microphone is going to actually pick this up because the wind is blowing so hard, but you're looking over into West Virginia. We're in Virginia now, but it's we're not even to the top yet and it's just it's just beautiful up here. Beautiful cloudy day. I'm wondering if this storm is ever going to blow in, but I mean the wind is just blowing hard. It smells amazing up here. Things are blooming. It's just absolutely beautiful. One of the big differences between this road and the road up to Spruce Knob is that I have cell service here. So that is one of the big differences. But I'll tell you that I, I've really enjoyed the drive. It's narrow, you gotta be careful. Uh, but I'll tell you, there's lots of blackberries and that tells me something too. That means where there's blackberries and where there's a lot of things to eat, there's gonna be bear and wildlife and deer. And I bet you there's a lot of wildlife up here to watch and a lot of plants and beautiful flowering plants and things like that. So this is gonna be a place that Carolyn and I get away to and have picnic, get the family away because it's not that far from the house. From our house, it's gonna take an hour. So that means that from Interstate 81, it's gonna take you about an hour and 15 minutes to get to the top of the mountain here. in my videos I'll do an intro and outro and any type of announcements at the objective where we're at if it's the top of a mountain or in a cave or whatever up here that's not possible because here on reddish knob it is so windy that when I try to to capture anything the microphone just it's just crazy and you, you wouldn't be able to hear me so I'll have to do a different intro but it's beautiful up here it's very windy and there's a lot of traffic again I've mentioned this in several videos since we've moved to Virginia and since we've been doing a lot of videos in West Virginia and Virginia 
Here in this part of Virginia, there's always going to be traffic. In other words, you're never going to get to a mountaintop or a trail and it's totally secluded. There's going to be a lot of traffic. Again, this part of Virginia, you're within 500 miles of over half of the population of the United States. So you're just getting a lot of traffic from all over the eastern part of the U.S., which is great. But you're never going to be in a situation where you're completely alone and isolated anywhere, even over on the Appalachian Trail. I've never been on the Appalachian Trail any time of the year here in Virginia where I've not seen 20, 30, 40, 100 people or more all year round. And it's the same way here at Reddish Knob. It's easy to get to, but the road is narrow, but it's a lot of fun. When you look up Reddish Knob online, what you tend to, to get a lot of is a mountain outside of Harrisonburg. And you can tell up here, even coming down the backside, this awesome paved road here on the backside of Reddish Knob, this area is kind of the play area for the outdoorsy type in Harrisonburg. Maybe they don't want to head over all the way across the valley into the Skyline Drive or the Blue Ridge Parkway, so they come up here, and I don't blame them. It's absolutely gorgeous up here. It's clean. It's not quite as crowded sometimes as the Skyline Drive can get. And never forget, you have to pay to get on the Skyline Drive drive and back here you don't have to pay to get back here it's beautiful lots of wildlife i haven't seen any today but you can see the sign on the little trails little offshoot roads and stuff you can see a lot of sign lots of things to do back here i saw some skateboarders i was hoping i was going to get to capture the skateboarders going down the hill but i didn't get to but lots of cyclists hikers and there's places to fish back here and again driving on this road doesn't cost you a penny This whole area is in the George Washington uh, Thomas Jefferson National Park. It's a long title, you know? I mean, seriously, George Washington Thomas Jefferson National Park. That's why a lot of the signs up here just still say George Washington National Park. It's kind of confusing to me sometimes, but yeah, it's the George Washington Thomas Jefferson National Park. But if you take me to any state in the U.S., my favorite thing to do is to cruise these old country roads, man. They're the best. And to me, that's where all the scenery is, all the beauty, all the action. Everything that you ever want in a beautiful scenic drive is found on an old dirt road or an old country road. I absolutely love them. type of voiceovers on the way to whatever destination. I mean, I set a timer. I, there's not really a destination on this road bed. And I hiked for about an hour and 10 minutes. I really wanted to see if I was going to scare up any animals. And the reason why is because on 33, Carolyn and I, a few weeks ago, we saw a bear on 33 crossing this mountain. By the way, this is Shenandoah Mountain. And so we saw a bear at the foot, not at the foot of the mountain, but right off the road here on 33. So I thought it'd be really cool to look for bear sign and deer sign because you can actually hunt during the fall, during hunting season, you can actually hunt this mountain with the West Virginia license and so I thought that would be pretty cool and I'm gonna tell you something this place this road here is amazing I mean it's like every single turn it's like you're in this amazing wildlife wilderness at first it doesn't feel that way because you're right off of 33 and it's a very trafficked area people that live in West Virginia often commute over 33 to work in Virginia so it's a very crowded road but as soon as you leave the earshot of that road man you're in the wilderness Now, there are gorgeous views up here that I can't capture really well with the phone. But I'll tell you something, it's a great wilderness just to explore, just to see the scenery. I mean, there are things blooming everywhere. Everything is so green and you've got flowers and I'm sure that things are blooming up here all year round. During the winter time, it's probably a winter paradise up here. I mean, it's just probably beautiful. And during the fall, yeah, you know it's gonna be awesome during the fall, but I wouldn't walk on this road during the fall. I mean, it's a hunter's road, it's for hunting. So yeah, you'd wanna be wearing orange and you wouldn't wanna disturb hunters and I wouldn't hike this trail during hunting season, I'm just saying. Hey look, it's a charging station for my cell phone. I kid, I kid. It's actually something that the National Weather Service uses to measure rain, that's pretty cool. 
what I really liked about being up here is I haven't seen a soul up here. I, this is not a high traffic hiking area at all. And I really like that. And so that means you can get come up here and do a devotion, get alone with God, and just enjoy nature. I love that. I think hiking is a great way to get in shape and to enjoy nature. But I absolutely love hiking with my wife. Carolyn keeps an eye on me, keeps an eye on my blood sugar, makes sure that she makes sure that I eat and all that good stuff, that I eat the protein and not just the junk. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing better at that. I'm not perfect, but I'm I'm doing a lot better. Like right now, I've got my almonds out, I've got the beef jerky out, because my blood sugar got a little little, you know, you know what I'm saying. Because Carolyn wasn't here to remind me, hey, you need to eat some almonds. So I've found this awesome rock right here, and I've got this great view. It's just absolutely amazing. It's wonderful.